We're live at Bethpage Federal Credit Union Stadium in Brookville, New York, and this is Northeast Conference Football on ESPN3. Today, the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils take on the Long Island Sharks. Eight-yard pickup, Elder had to stop on third and two. Mitchell flares it out to the far sideline, and that's first down, knocked down inside the 30. This time, Mitchell out of the pistol with Smith in the backfield. Double receivers to the right. Gives to Smith, tries to turn the left corner. He's got room, lowers his shoulder, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. It is a five-yard scoring burst, and the Blue Devils jump on top, six to nothing. 10 from the Blue Devils, 34. Here is the give on the end around. Jet sweep, that's Mike Love to the near side, 30, 25, and dragged out of bounds inside the 20 as LIU moves the sticks again. Tackle to get the first. LIU will go for it. The give is to Bowen up the middle, and he goes in for the touchdown. For Pat Bowen, it's an 11-yard touchdown burst. And LIU comes back, and it's a 7-6 ball game. What an answer right here by the Sharks. A little outside zone to the left. Wagner earlier this year. LIU shows blitz. First down from the 37. Smith to the outside, shows some speed, and then fights his way down inside the 25. And the Blue Devils are really going on the back of Smith here with Petaway. Back to throw goes Mitchell, flings it out on the screen. Here's Smith to the 20, down to the 15 before he's tripped up. And he's gonna be about a yard or so shy of the first down. Sherratt left and Wormley to the right in the backfield, nothing doing. You think LIU knew Smith was gonna get the ball? <laughs> yeah. Ball at the 41. Play fake again by Stanzani. He's going to go long downfield. Wants Oye Conley. He's got it and goes in for the score. It goes 59 yards. And LIU takes a 13-7 lead with five seconds left in the first quarter. Deep post route by number one, Tosin Oye Kane. The clock, is, I mean, the ball is set. The clock winds. Good From job getting up and running the play. Excuse me, Mitchell over the middle, ball. nearly intercepted, and maybe it is. I believe that ball was plucked out of the air. It would be Jaden Dawkins if the officials will rule it. LIU ball, and they will. It was deflected out across the 45, and Dawkins came up with the pick. First down from the 46, motion by Love. He's going to catch the flare to the 50, 45, has room, 40, down to the 30, and then spilled down near the central 25. Bowen the lone setback. Here comes the blitz. Stands out, he steps into the pocket, fires, he's got the completion. Down near the five yard line, fighting his way for the first down. Justin Weller does a good job to move this change. It'll be first and goal. Made a little bit longer situation. Mitchell and company will go for it. Smith's in the backfield. The line is packed tightly. Mitchell, quarterback keeper. They're gonna push him and push him, and I don't think he got it, Matthew. We'll see what the spot is. From our vantage point here, it did not look like he crossed the line for a first down. Second camera here, so I'm, I'm watching the game. This is the twice. FCS, my man. I Stands love it. out, he back to throw, getting pressured, and then just throws it down the sideline, and it's caught in central territory. Stands out, he just throws up a prayer down the right sideline, and somehow, and I don't know how, that pass was <laughs> caught by Reese Dykstra. Completion by Stanzani getting outside the pocket. I'm glad you could do math. <laughs> Quick flare out goes to the left side for Zach Rhodes. Breaks a tackle. He's inside the 25, down to about the 20 before he is belted out of bounds by Artest Banks. Mitchell with a deep drop. Fires wide open over the middle. Petaway again just sits down and he's got himself another Blue Devils first down, this time to the 23. Two to seven, so they need to go for it. And Mitchell operates out of the gun with the empty backfield. He looks over the middle and there's Petway again on the quick slant. First and goal for Central at the five. Yeah, so basically the Blue Devils are just giving a dissertation on just all the different ways that they can run a slant route right now. Five, Gray is in the backfield. 
He takes the handoff, tries the left side, and he races into the end zone for the score. And so with 11.28 left in the game, Central cuts LIU's lead to 22 to 13. Hands to Smith. He's got the first down and more as he fights his way inside the 20. Keep an eye on Petaway. He's slot left. Mitchell, deep in the pocket, fires over the middle. Petaway makes a diving stab inside the five. First and goal, Blue Devils. Wow. I, that's all I got to say right now because Sean Mitchell throws an absolute rifle over the middle and Petaway. Smith in the backfield. It's the play fake and going into the end zone is quarterback Sean Mitchell. And Central has drawn to within two with 101 on the clock. Good read by Sean Mitchell on that one. Pulls the football away from Nasir Smith, runs in for the touchdown. They need this two point conversion to tie. Mitchell over center. Play fake. Looks end zone. Fires to the goal line and it is incomplete. He wanted Jad Dolagala, the tight end. Coverage was by Victor Nelson. Really well-designed football play for the conversion. I believe it was number 89, backup tight end Peter Cleary. Yeah, we couldn't quite get a great vision. We weren't sure what the number was. Here's the onside kick. And did Central recover? It looks as though they have. The Blue Devils, with 104 to go, have recovered the onside kick at their own 46-yard line. Smith in the backfield, back to throw, looks to the right, and the ball is intercepted, and it's going to be a pick six the other way as LIU seals the deal. Aid Johnson, the redshirt freshman, with his first career interception, and it goes for six. First career interception, congratulations. It is the play of the game. Mr. Johnson, number 22, read that all the way. He is the corner here in the flat. They try to throw a quick throw to the sideline to kind of jumpstart the offense, get them going. LIU does a good job of calling a zone coverage. You see Johnson just immediately puts his foot in the ground. Great job tracking the football with his hands, running in for the touchdown. Paul Dottino and Matthew Sims back at LIU, where the LIU Sharks have held on to defeat the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils by the final score of 29 to 20. Our player of the game is quarterback Lucas Stanzati, 19 of 32 for 234 yards and a touchdown. Also ran it eight times for 50 yards. That included, by the way, a 31-yard quarterback draw Luca, your, your, your legs may be uh, getting a little more pop here than the arm, the way you were running it today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he coached you up some good plays. Um, we had a good game plan going in. Uh, I knew that I had to use my legs, and, and I did a good job, I think. And, and Luca, just tell me, you know, out of your you know, two big plays that you made, the quarterback draw for 31, you had the bomb right there to Tosin to start the game too. What was your favorite play, the play where you were making somebody miss in the open field or the bomb for the touchdown? Oh boy, I like I like the touchdown because it's at the end of the day it's a touchdown. Um, yeah, it's always a good feeling seeing your receiver run free into the end zone when you're 40, 50 yards back. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty exciting feeling. So I'd have to say the post. It's, oh uh, man, I don't know though. Those moves you showed on that run, man, were <laughs> yeah. super impressive. That was a great run, dude. Thank you, thank you. Look, I gotta ask you, what is it like? You know that Central gets the onside kick, mm -hmm. and now you've got to watch your defense hold on to that slim lead. Of course, Johnson with the pick six finally put the nail in the coffin. But what was it like on your sideline having to bite your nails with your defense trying to hold it on? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the offense put pressure on the defense. We got to do better scoring, uh, but we've been in that position before. Last week, we got our first win in double overtime, so it's nothing we haven't seen before, and they did a hell of a job uh, stepping up and making a big play on the pick six. And I got to ask you, too, man, I mean, you're balling. You're doing a great job. Two-game win streak now. You know, we're in the month of November. It's no-shave November. You shaving that mustache anytime soon, my friend? Oh, I'm never shaving this mustache. It <laughs> took me way too long to grow out. Uh, never shaving it, and yeah, I can't do it. Can't no, do you shouldn't, man. You should keep it, man. It's part of your swag now forever. Thank you. Thank Luca, you. final question. Yes, you sir. had scoring drives today of 82, 66, 57, and 60 yards on offense. Mm. For a guy who's come in as a freshman – 
And in your first two starts, you have not only produced victories, but you have produced them in impressive fashion. What is the secret to you being able to be so effective so quickly in this offense? There's no secret, man. Uh, I came here. I came here to play, uh, and and my time came later in the season. And I was just just being prepared, getting prepared from started June 12th when I arrived on campus. Uh, I just knew that I'd always had to be ready when it was my time, and I think I was.